Good morning. My name is Bob. And uh, as usual, before I show the bike that we're uh, going to be showing on Bring a Trailer today, I usually take a walk through my showroom. The interest I have in uh, motorcycles uh, is broad and varied. And uh, today, the bike that I'm going to show you uh, is a rather unique offering from me, since this was my personal bike for the last four years. And uh, though I don't ride a lot, I ride every day. And this bike was my everyday driver for the last 4,500 miles. 1989 Honda Transalp. So, as a brief description for those of you who are not familiar with these bikes, uh, they are iconic and they were the beginning of dual sport bikes. And I don't mind telling you, I've had geez, at least five or six hundred bikes uh, in, over the last 20 years. And by far, my favorite bike. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, not the least of which is how easy it is to ride. Uh, the weight is low and it does not feel heavy or cumbersome. Unlike many of the dual sport bikes today, um, they're quite heavy and in comparison, this is quite nimble. It's one of the reasons why I like it so much. Uh, at my age of 70, this has uh, created a, a great balance of uh, a bike that has plenty of power and it's beautiful, it's unique. Uh, there isn't anything else out there that looks like this or runs like this. As a 600, uh, I would take this bike over almost any late model dual sport bike, but that's my opinion. So let's take a look at the bike. Um, the only flaw on this bike that I had when I owned it was the tank had a small uh, ding in it uh, right about here. Uh, I had the paint, that tank repainted. Uh, it's a pearlescent white. Uh, it's a, a very close match. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but uh, for the sake of looking, <laughs> it's quite a beautiful bike. There is no flaws in the plastic. There's nothing cracked or broken. This has never been in an accident. Uh, this has always been garaged, as you can see with all the decals. The decals are like brand new. Uh, none of the plastics on this bike uh, have been replaced since new. There's no scratches, uh, there's no dents, there's no dings. Uh, I would say this is about as near flawless of a 45-year-old uh, bike as you can find. Uh, again, I've been riding this in Florida. Uh, normally the lower legs and there's a lot of corrosion on bikes. This does not have any of that. I've taken very good care of it. Uh, the person who owned it before also took really good care of it. Some of the things that are noteworthy that have been done, it does have new front and rear brakes, uh, the pads in the front, the uh, uh, pads in the back, or I should say the shoes in the back. The carburetor uh, was, with the previous owner, taken apart, had a jetting kit put in it. For any of you who are familiar with these bikes, they ran very lean. They had flat spots, especially off of an idle. This thing runs flawlessly. The inside of the tank, as seen in the photo gallery, is perfectly clean, no rust whatsoever. All the stickers that came original on the bike are still intact on the bike. The tires are date coded 2012. They're older tires. Obviously, I've been riding it for four years and uh, some might say you need to replace those. Uh, I don't happen to be uh, part and party to that. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the Speedo and Tack. It shows just under 16,000 miles. As you can see, the gauges are in perfect condition. Uh, the same thing with the controls. They are all original. Uh, there isn't anything on the bike uh, that is not original. All the mirrors, uh, all the uh, controls are all original to the bike.
All the lights, turn signals work. Horn. Normally, uh, these bikes, uh, when they're stock jetting, you cannot get them to idle like that and have any acceleration whatsoever when they're cold. This one's perfectly cold, it's never been started. So if you're looking for a near flawless uh, Honda Transalp, uh, this might be the ticket for you. So good luck on your bidding. It's a beautiful bike. Uh, you know, I did, should say one more thing. That is an aftermarket windscreen. It's larger than stock. Uh, that is uh, one of the beauties of this bike. I love that windscreen because it takes all of the wind off my body and just above my face. Should have mentioned that before and forgot. So good luck to all of you.